Yo, what is up guys, Jamie Games here and I'm so excited today to bring you some F1 2012 gameplay while someone uh, invites me to an Xbox Live party and will probably comment on this video saying, oh my goodness, you invi I invited you to a party whilst you were recording, so I'm going to go busy. Um, so yeah, anyway, where was I? Yeah, we're going to do some Champions mode today because it's a brand new game mode in F1 2012. Sorry that intro was like really, really crap, but um, yeah, so we're going to do the first scenario. The only one we can do. Kimi Raikkonen, the Iceman Returns. Let's uh, press Y look at this info. You work your way through the traffic and pass your unflappable teammate before the finish line. You have three laps in which to close the five second gap and make that pass. Okay, so scenario is we're five seconds behind Kimi Raikkonen. We are his teammate, obviously, um, in the sister car. We'll go on medium today. See how it goes. See if it's fair. See if we don't absolutely rinse it up but see if we have to you know work hard for it and then we can change it or whatever if we need to in next the next scenario that we do or whatever so yeah sorry the intro is really weird for that invite that's annoying it's annoying when people do that but whatever batman in yo face free shout out lol so yeah as you can see i have played this game mode before uh, that is simply just me getting some practice time and, wow. Yeah. So, let's see if anything can be said. It's just... And just about right. to start, the final few laps of this thrilling race at Spa is Kimi Raikkonen in a modest seventh position. He's been complaining of tyre trouble all weekend. There goes his teammate in the sister Lotus Renault. He's behind, but on a brand new set of option tyres. I think he might actually work his way up and into the points. And at this rate, challenge Kimmy. I think we're in for a dramatic few laps. Yes, I think we are, Crofty. Okay. Slower traffic ahead. Be careful when overtaking. They should let you through. Oh my. Freaking caterings. They're so slow. And we've overshot the corner at an absolute tree. We upgrade oh, ourselves. Whoopsie daisy. So, right, let's uh, power away. So, is that Kimmy there? Yes, Kimmy there. Already? We've only got a few laps left to pass this guy, so if you're going to do it, it needs to be soon. Okay. Right, so let's just see how this goes. So, um, yeah. Uh, first impressions of this game are awesome, uh, to be perfectly honest. Like, they have changed, I think, in my opinion, they've changed something in the driving engine. Like, not engine is in engine driving engine but like the way the game plays because it just seems like so different to drive this year compared to last year certainly in my opinion I uh, don't know what you guys think if any of you played it or and played the last game tell me your opinions what they think they've done good what they think you think they should have done better or added in or anything but be realistic like don't say like they should have added like so realistic that you pee your pants. Like, no. Because it's not viable. But anyway, so if any of you guys got it today, release day, uh, then, you know, post down in the comments what you think. Uh, how much you're going to be playing it. I'm going to be playing it shitloads this weekend. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say that I'm, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be really social this weekend. I'm definitely going to go out like every day. And that was really crap turn in there. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I am playing this game pretty much all week. Weekend? Why are we driving so rubbish? I think it might be my steering wheel, like, honestly. Because, like, ever since I've got it, and the demo as well, my steering wheel's just not seen right. And I, I have no idea why, whatsoever. Uh, but I have a... Oh my god, what is it? A Ferrari Thrustmaster GT wheel. Uh, it's really awesome. But sometimes it can be, like, especially on this game, I've noticed it's really weird sometimes. It just plays up randomly. Yeah. Let me know what wheels you guys have in the description. Uh, description? Comments? I mean, because I think steering wheels make F1 games, especially, m way more fun. Like, honest. Uh, yeah, way fun. This is my favourite corner in Formula 1, the Eau Rouge corner, like. If I go, if I ever in my life go to a Formula One race, 
I will stand at Eau Rouge because that's far obviously. Because uh, I just love this that corner that we've passed. Wow, what is going on? <sighs> Jesus, must have got a bit high on the curb there. Good. Right, let's use one flashback. We have one left now. Yeah, we must have just got high on the curb or something. Whoopsie daisy. But yeah, it just seems like I've got like trash and control on. I think. Uh, but it just seems that it's so hard to keep the car under control coming out of corners. Like, you can't... Like, F1 2011, you could just easily get on the power as soon as you got out of corner. you get no, uh, you know, trouble from traction or anything whatsoever. Whereas on this game, you get all sorts of trouble. You know, you're spinning all the time and everything. It's crazy. But enjoyable. So, yes, we didn't think run wide. Right, so we got the rest of this lap and one more lap after this to get at Kimmy. He is literally just up the road, though. So, let's see if we can do this. This is actually challenging enough, this difficulty, in my opinion. Like, I don't know what you guys played or anything. What difficulty you've been playing on, if you've been playing this mode, let me know. Let's not do a Sebastian Vettel and like cut straight across someone to go in the pit. No, not Sebastian Vettel. Fucking Schumacher, sorry. My apologies. After that horrific start at Spa the other week, I imagine most of you watching this F1 fans will be, you know, remembering how horrific that was and how much worse it could have been. So. Oh, yeah, guys, I forgot. Singapore Grand Prix this weekend. Uh, the night race, the street race. Uh, really, really awesome. Uh, one of the best races. And Kimmy's right there on the last lap. Ah, can we do it? I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. But uh, yeah, Singapore this weekend. Uh, practice one and two was today. Qualifying tomorrow, race Sunday. Uh, you guys, if any of you going to watch that, let me know down in the comments. So I'm going to watch it, definitely. Because I love Formula One. I've, you know, I've grown. It's grown on me. So Grosjean will be back in that race after Monza. Uh, after that one race ban he received for causing that crash of Spa, which I believe he did, in my opinion. I think it was right uh, to give him that one race ban. You know, fair enough. Uh, he did deserve it, to be fair. But I'm sure you guys will have your own opinions on that. Come on, we can get it. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Come on, come on. Right, no contact. We ca I cannot make con- We got all our curves to use going up here, though. That is such an advantage. I'm going to save, like, a drop for literally, like, the finish straight. Oh, my God, this is going to be so close. I'm going to go around the outside. I'm going to go around the outside. Oh, my God, contact, contact, contact. Shit. Disqualified? Are you kidding? Let's rewind. We better have one. Yes, we do. Right. We cannot make contact with this guy. What is he doing? Let's break him on the inside. Oh, my God. Yes, I think we've done it. Use that curse. Most effective in the low gears. And we have done it. We have done it. We have done it shakily, but we have done it. So, basic tips, guys. Just uh, rinse it. <laughs> uh yeah thank you for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed it and we did it we have passed the challenge we have beat kimi raikkonen from five positions five seconds it's probably not been a good day for kimi raikkonen as his fellow lotus driver was able to get past him before the end of the race that was great that was really awesome i really enjoyed that that was really awesome game mode so thank you very very much for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you watched the whole thing i did be sure to check the links in the description facebook twitter and all that usual shares uh and if you want to see more F1 videos from me, then uh, click the subscribe button. I'll be doing loads more F1 videos because uh, I love this game and I love the sport. So, yeah, thank you very much, guys. And uh, I will see you in the next one. 
next video, uh, whether it will be Champions Mode or not, I am not sure. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. See ya.